Hey guys, I uh, just got home from work, had a little surprise in the mail. Um, not really a surprise, actually. I've kind of been watching the mail for the last week, waiting for this to come. Um, but what I got was, um, actually, it's kind of, I guess it's called a barrel sleeve, really. Um, but it's going to modify how this gun looks. So this is, this is the stock gun. This is the Nerf uh, Zombie Strike Double Shot. It's a uh, double barrel. Um, hammer, hammer primed, uh, pistol, blaster, whatever you want to call it. Um, but basically this, this is stock and we're going to modify it so that this barrel fits on. It'll look, you know, something like that by the end of it. Um, I'm going to actually do this real time because, uh, from my understanding, this is a fairly simple mod. I just need to cut off a couple little things on this gun and then that barrel should just slip over it. Uh, so from my understanding is that I need to essentially make this flush with the little thing that looks like a rail right here. So just cut off the tip of this sight and then same thing on the bottom. So we're going to make both of these flush and then also there's these little notches right there that we need to go ahead and sand off um, to make everything fit flush. And then after that the instructions are a little bit unclear. It's from China, so <laughs> I don't know if I super glue it in place or what. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start by just uh, cutting this thing down and uh, see what happens. Um, but this is a, uh, what is this? Uh, what is it? SSWI is the maker of this, and it's just 3D printed. Uh, it comes in a lot of different colors. Uh, I chose orange. Um, but they do make it in black, blue, pink, almost any color you want, army green. Um, I decided to stick with orange just because I don't, I don't like making these guns look too realistic or blasters, um, uh, because then they look like real guns. Um, and if you take it out and about, um, bad things might happen. It might scare people and it just, you know, who knows? So, so I chose to go with orange. Um, it also came with this site, which we're going to attach afterwards as well. Uh, so they'll have a, mm, 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 mm. well, so they'll have a site on there kind of like that. Um, somehow not totally sure how that works yet, but, uh, we'll figure that, that part out when we get to it. Uh, step one, let's get this thing cut down. Now, please excuse the mess on the table. We've been working on quite a few projects here and, uh, and not finished any of them because uh, I'm a big procrastinator and some of these projects were way bigger than I thought. <laughs> All right, let's get started. We're just gonna take a Dremel here. Um, <clears throat> this is a diamond cutting bit. I've never used one of these, but I'm hoping it works better than the normal little kind of sandy grit ones because oh my god those just break like every two seconds i'd burn through so many of them so fast so all right start it up spin this up just a little faster maybe in that area and then i'm just going to kind of try to line this up almost all the way on there already now the other thing that was in the per the instructions said that we need to we need to take off these little indentations here all right and then again I'm gonna get really close up just so you can see um, these little burrs that I'm talking about, you see there's like three of them right there. 
that's what needs to be taken out to make the um, barrel mount flush, uh, at least per the instructions. So, so far they've been right. I'm surprised. Uh, I thought it would it would be different than it was, but um, <laughs> eh, sometimes we get lucky. Yeah, that looks that looks really nice. There we go. So there it is. Uh, it's on there um, again. So we'll get a close up of this, but you'll see I took out those burrs. I carved in a little deep right there just to make sure that that's out of the way because that'll stop this from being flush. So you just go ahead, both sides, do that. Um, carve off the tip on the top and the tip on the bottom here, um, and then. Make sure that you cut out a little space for these grooves right here just so that uh, it can slide in there because this, this attachment fits into those grooves. And, and then that will slide right on. Um, and it feels it feels almost pretty pretty sturdy the way it is, but um, not quite. Um, now the other thing is they sent me this site and I'm a little I'm a little confused as to how that's supposed to go on. Like there is a rail on the back here on this gun, but this seems a little small. They didn't say anything about cutting down the rail. Let me see. Maybe I just oh I just need to push it on there harder. Don't be scared yeah, well, there it is. Yeah, buddy, that's a that's a transformation right there. I like it. Um, I'm waiting on an upgraded spring. We're gonna upgrade this spring a little bit and make it a little bit better. But uh, that's pretty good right there. Yeah. Um, the only thing I got to figure out now is how I'm going to permanently attach this barrel. All right. <clears throat> so I cut, I cut for a minute and I was trying to figure out how I wanted to attach this. Um, because if, if you slide this on, um, onto the stock one, it's going to go, it's going to go to here. And if you permanently attach it, you're going to be covering up these screws. Um, which means you'll never be able to take this apart. So if you want to do spring upgrades or if you need to replace something, kind of a problem. Um, so what I decided, uh, instead of permanently attaching it, I wanted to create something that um, makes it removable, but obviously we don't want it coming off. So um, I'm gluing a couple foam darts in place. I just cut them down, cut them in half, um, and then kind of super glued them to the barrel since you're not going to see that part anyways. Um, that, that fits in here just right. It's, it's really snug. Um, so you got to kind of work it in there. Um, but ooh, did I make it too snug? No, we're good. So yeah, half of a dart on the bottom barrel, half on the top on both sides and as you can see, I mean, that's not going anywhere. Um, but if I need to take it off, I can just wiggle it back off, you know, like so, which, you know, that means like next week when I, when I get my upgrade kit for the spring on this, I can pop that back off and, um, go ahead and, and upgrade the spring. So, um, now we have a complete video. <laughs> All right, um, thanks for watching the video. Um, there will be more to come soon. This is gonna be it for right now. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, 
hope you enjoy and um, you know, be out there and mod, mod some blasters. <laughs>